Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tony Hanson for Audio Dungeon News, here to report to you that something bad is happening somewhere in the world. But don't worry, we're going to go to our on scene reporter, Dan Isgro, who's there right now. Dan, what's happening? Oh, Tony, I am here live in Greater Cornwall, England, where a blast from the Super Zero's past is revealing his dastardly plot. Ho oh, ho ho, the Crumpet Crimper has struck again! This time, he's not kidnapping the royal family! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, no! This time, he's threatening to destroy every crumpet that has been baked by his competitors! Giving him an effective crumpet monopoly here in Greater Cornwall! And Tony, I'm just receiving word that the Crumpet Crimper has officially stated that the Super Zeros will have to be particularly clever this time to catch him, since he did get away from them the last time. Ho <laughs> ho it looks like the Super Zeros will have to reach down deep to find a solution to find and capture the Crumpet Crimper, Tony. Thank you, Dan Isgro, for that amazing reporting. Uh, actually, wait. We're getting something in right now. It appears the evil villain is making a speech. Let's go to see what he has to say. <laughs> that is right. I have returned. The Crumpet Crimper is back. I warned you all that I would be back. And no one took me seriously. Well, now my quest for domination will continue. Today, I will take control of the Greater Cornwall area. And who knows what will happen next? None of you have been buying my crumpets. <laughs> Which was the point of all of this? Well, that's it. Enough. There will be no more bakeries. You will buy from me only. And the Super Zeros cannot stop me. They failed before. And this new generation, I imagine, will be just as pitiful. Wow, Dan. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, but yeah, the Crumpet Cripper it means business this time. I remember last time we was here, uh, <laughs> feels like years ago, he was uh, rebranding himself. I'm wondering if he's rebranding himself for a second time. Uh, I guess we're going to find out, right? Oh, we will find out, Tony. I would not want to be in his way. Well, don't worry, Dan. We're going to go live right now because I'm getting it. I'm getting some information right now saying that Super Zeros are arriving on scene to stop him. Let's go to them right now. I am the human tree. I'm able to plant my feet into the ground and grow 100 feet tall. My name is Pete Plaid. I can summon plaid shirts out of thin air. Oh, Hiking, please. working on your house or another building, <laughs> even a semi-formal event. You'll always have something to wear when Pete Plaid is around. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's go to our last Super Zero. I am Patrick Swayze, man. My fruit superpower is dirty dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Which probably doesn't look like that, but uh, that, that's a, I, feel, I feel like I'm watching Dirty Dancing yeah. right now. Don't take Whoa. It back. On. Uh, apparently, I'm an actor that faked his own death to fight crime. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a deep backstory. Uh, yeah. Whoever wrote deep. that should work for Marvel. Yeah. Wow. I wonder yeah. what my power is. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think we saw your Whoever superpower. You showed us. <laughs> yeah, that was it. It was <laughs> my awesome, <laughs> distracting, we're gonna, dance. We're going to see if the news reporter is merciless, merciful to you right now, <laughs> or if he's merciless. Uh, guys, as always, the Super Zeros, each of them must take one small part, if any, in the solution to stop the evil villain. If they do not, the evil villain will win. And as you know, the news reporter, Dan Isgro, will decide and uh, help them out or not, <laughs> describe to you what happens in, in an amazing way. And uh, will they be able to stop the evil villain? We're going to find out right now. Super Zeros, go to work. Can I just get clarification on he's cl closing all bakeries? That's what's happening? The crumpet That's crumper? part of it. Yeah. Okay. Also, we yeah. should just put this out there. I'm big and I'm strong, but I can't move. All right. So let's utilize so make that. Make sure you plant yourself in the right spot right to do something to spot him out because we have to locate him first so he has to have right. some kind of layer where he looks at all of his stuff right, right? or keeps surveillance mm. or like finds all the bakeries uh -huh. which mm. is where what we should destroy right right, right. Which is and what a better way to destroy <laughs> something than to come in during an opening day and just dance ridiculously dirty well, I could do that. You know? well, I, 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 I could do the dancing. And what was your thing? 
I just I, I I can dress everyone in plaid, so I'll dress him. Oh, real perfect! Nice. Yeah, yeah. It'd yeah. be really tacky, and everyone would not want to go, and it would ruin his plan to sell crumpets and crimpets to everyone. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> and is that everything that's happening? <laughs> I. I, I I'm, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, totally going to dance and distract yeah, him, and then... Oh, wait, oh, wait. There it is. That's gonna, a, that's, I have no idea what to do. It's a, it's a mini pro special. Oh, I'm just going to dance and distract him. Yeah. Okay, so wait. So, so, fight crime. So. so once... I can also move eventually, right? I'll, so then after, I can grow down, and then go to the place once we locate it, and then grow up inside, 100 feet tall, and destroy the roof. Yeah, that, you were destroying the place. That was the whole thing. Oh, all okay. Along. Well, I thought I was going to locate it first, and then destroy it. Mm. Right, you have to, yeah, of course, we have to locate it. <laughs> you can do both. It. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So locate, destroy, look look good in plaid, right. and distract. There right. you go. Okay, Dan. after <laughs> destroy. <laughs> okay, Dan, it's let's go. It's let's a Let's go to plan. you right no. now, and so let's tell me, <laughs> did the Super Zero save the day? <laughs> uh, it's going to be the Let's see the how this goes. Answer ever. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tony, I'm here live in Greater Cornwall. And it looks like the Crumpet Crimper has started to unravel his dastardly plot to destroy all the crumpets in Greater Cornwall, thus gaining for himself a monopoly of crumpets. But it looks like the Super Zeros have arrived. There's one Super Zero in particular who is starting to dance and distract the Crumpet Crimper. And wait a second, Tony, he's not just dancing, he's dirty dancing. <laughs> and wait, Tony. It looks like he's dressed much more sharply than he was just a minute ago. <laughs> he's wearing an eye-catching plaid number, and it looks like the Crumpet Crimper just cannot keep his eyes off of this Super Zero. And wait, as the Crumpet Crimper is distracted, Tony, a gigantic tree is growing throughout the entire lair of the Crumpet Crimper. His, his, uh, his entire place is being destroyed. His computers are being destroyed. His surveillance is no longer. Tony, his dastardly plot is being destroyed as we speak. He no longer has a monopoly of all the crumpets. The bakeries in Greater Cornwall have been saved. Tony, the entire civilization in Greater Cornwall can now enjoy their crumpets without fearing to only have to buy them from one place. The Crumpet Crimper has finally been apprehended. Thank you to all the Super Zeros. Back to you, Tony. Wow, Dan, I definitely didn't think that would be a win for the Super Zeros. <laughs> I thought we might have the first fail, but congratulations to them, and congratulations double to you, Dan Isgro. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, I'm getting worried right now that the evil villain apparently has something he wants to say. Let's go live. You may have all stopped me this time, Super Zeros, but the Crumpet Crimple will return. <laughs> Long. He changed his name to the Crumpet Cripple. <laughs> the Crumpet Crimper will return. We were laid low again, and I rebuilt my empire once, and it will happen again. One day, you will all be eating my crumpets, and perhaps even more delicious baked goods. Well, there you have it, Dan. Dan, I'm confused. Like, like you know, why doesn't the Crumpet Cripper just use uh, dollars into marketing? Why doesn't he just market himself normal instead of all this other stuff? What do you think? That's uh, a mystery for another day, Tony. We'll have to get an interview <laughs> in a jail cell with the Crumpet Crimper. Uh, he has mysterious marketing practices, so maybe we'll find out why he chooses to destroy other bakeries rather than put up a billboard. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, that's an amazing question, Dan. For another day, we will solve it. Congratulations to the Super Zeros. And uh, so sorry for the Crumpet Cripper. Guys, that was Super Zeros. And we're, thank you for playing.